morning prayer on Saturday the 6th of June. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul is a thirst for you. My flesh also faints for you, as in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So would I gaze upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. Your loving kindness is better than life itself, and so my lips shall praise you. I will bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul, my soul shall be satisfied, as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night, for you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings will I rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand shall hold me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 147 Alleluia. How good it is to make music for our God. How joyful to honour him with praise. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and gathers together the outcasts of Israel. He heals the broken-hearted and binds up all their wounds. He counts the number of the stars and calls them all by their names. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His wisdom is beyond all telling. The Lord lifts up the poor and casts down the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God upon the lyre. He covers the heavens with clouds and prepares rain for the earth, who makes grass grow upon the mountains, and green plants to serve our needs. He gives the beasts their food, and the young ravens when they cry. He takes no pleasure in the power of a horse, no delight in human strength. But the Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their trust in his steadfast love. Sing praise to the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates, and has blessed your children within you. He has established peace in your borders, and satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends forth his command to the earth, and his word runs very swiftly. He gives snow like wool, and scatters the hoarfrost like ashes. He casts down his hailstones like morsels of bread. Who can endure his frost? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and judgments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. They do not know his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, 
is now and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Seventy returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watch Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. At that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent, and revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to his disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see desired what you to see what you see, but did not see it, and hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth have met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other, that glory may dwell in our land. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your salvation is near to those who fear you, that glory may dwell in your land. Shine on us, O God, who dwell in darkness, and guide us into the way of peace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Shine on us, O God, who dwell in darkness, and guide us into the way of peace. Let us pray. We pray for this new day, for the tasks ahead of us, for the preparations we make, for the meetings we have. Send your Holy Spirit on us, we may do all of this to the glory of your name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our homes, the buildings we live in. We pray for our families, our friends, and those that we love and care for. Keep them safe. Keep them in the knowledge of your love and shine your light upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for those who have lost their way, who have lost hope. Guide them back onto the path of righteousness, that they may have hope in your eternal promises. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are in hospital at the moment, who are unwell and reaching the end of their lives. Walk alongside them in their hour of darkness. And let them know that your love is with them, now and always. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> o Lord, from whom all good things come, grant to us, your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <coughs> 